Hello and welcome back to another video. This problem we're given the function f and we're asked to find the derivative of f when x is equal to zero. We're given this information um, which is going to be helpful because g of x is part of f of x but let's not worry about that just yet. Let's just calculate the general form of the derivative of f. So we're going to do that using the product rule since we have e to the x times g to the x times g of x. So the derivative is going to be if we have the first term and the second term, it's going to be the first term times the derivative of the second term plus the second term times the derivative of the first term. Right? So the, we have e dx times the derivative of g to the x plus the other way around, g of x times the derivative of e to the x. And this is just the product rule. Simplifying this, we have e dx times g prime of x plus g of x and then e to the x its derivative is just itself, so e to the x. So um, one last step might make it a little bit easier. We can factor this by grouping. So we have e to the x times the derivative of g plus e to the x times g. And this is your general form of the derivative. So f prime of zero, just plug in zero for all of these. So we have e to the zero times g prime of zero plus g of 0. This is equal to e to the 0 is just 1, so we have 1 times we have this value given, and we have this value is given. So that's how, that's where this comes in, but we didn't need it until now. Now we do. So we have 5 plus 2. So we have 1 times 7, which is just 7. That's your final answer. As always, thank you for liking and subscribing. I'll see you in the next video.